We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and our motorhome Rennie and together we are The Search 365. Welcome to episode 9 of our Northern England tour. This is going to be it here and it's a more or less a hairpin bend to your left. left Barnard Castle, uh, so County Durham, and headed into Yorkshire. First stop, Sutton Bank. Sutton Bank. <laughs> so we stopped for a bit of lunch um, at Sutton Bank. For anybody who doesn't know about Sutton Bank, it's basically on top of a ruddy great hill, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. There's a national park centre at the top. So we've just come out for a little walk. As you can see behind us, well hopefully you can see the amazing views. Um, so we've just been for a little wander around um, before we head back to the van and head off to our new campsite for the night. what you call a fever that how many times did you sneeze then oh, 100 <laughs> 100 <laughs> lost cow <laughs> right oh. we're back at the van it's time to head off all right come on then let's head go. off Bye. hi everyone um today we've come up to dolby forest it's about a 10 minute drive from our campsite so and the roads are really good um i've put a little bit of done a bit of footage um, showing you what the road's like. It's a little bit narrow, but not too bad. Two cars can definitely get past each other. Yeah. Um, and we didn't have any problems getting up here at all. The car 
pot's lovely and big as you can see look and we're actually in a space big enough for us and um, without taking up any other space um these forestry commission forests um they're all um uh number plate recognition so you come in and then you pay as you leave they're not cheap they're normally between five and ten pound a day um to park but when you think about it that's a good day out for a tenner it's not bad so there's plenty of walking trails here i think there's 12 and i think there's six bike trails or six marked bike trails there's probably plenty of wild ones yeah. um uh, so the weather's not looking great for today. We've come up early. I think it's just about half past eight, something like that. Yeah. Um, so we've come up early to make sure we've got a parking space, but also because the weather was forecast to rain later on today. Unfortunately, that's changed overnight and it's now going to rain this morning. Um, so we're probably going to try and nip out in between the rain um, so that we can film while we're while I take the dogs for a hike and while Sean goes off and checks out the trails here um so yeah we'll show you what it's like at dolby hi so me and the dogs have come out on our hike at dolby forest we've chosen to take the yellow path um which is four and a half miles or seven kilometers so we'll see if that rings true i'm out of breath because i've just come up there it's a couple of quite steep hills to start off with um but yeah so i think the difficulty rating was moderate on this one but i would say this was harder than the one at Hamsterley so far and i've only been going a few minutes um so it's pretty steep to start off with and it's all in this loamy stuff so you need a decent pair of shoes um walking shoes i would say so we'll see how we got on we, we just started raining so but only spit spots so we'll carry on got my raincoat um there's no such thing as bad weather just badly dressed so uh yeah we'll continue on i think sean was heading out on his bike at the same time i left so i think he's um probably going to check out the red route he might do the blue i'm not sure see how he feels uh, I think the red route's quite long here um, so we'll see how much energy he's got um, but yeah hopefully there'll be a view at the top here anyway So the second part of this walk is actually pretty flat, I think as it follows um, the beck here and the valley floor 
um, it's pretty close so we're getting dive bombed by flies which is not a pleasant experience um, not so much for me but for Rex he hates them so all I've got is the invaders must die music from the prodigy going round in my head because he's like ank, 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 every five seconds with the flies um, keep getting people cycling down the hiking trails which isn't great getting getting slightly annoyed by the amount of bikers coming down the hiking trails which you know they're clearly marked it's not difficult um, it's Saturday though so it's probably a lot of newbies here and I'm definitely on the right track um, yeah they were obviously going quite quickly as well which was ridiculous as there's kids around um, yeah but other than that we're having a fabulous time <laughs> flies and all <laughs> so as you can see I've made it back to the van with the dogs um, that hike turned out to be about four and a quarter miles um, so it wasn't too bad it's all got a bit crazy around here though since we left um, it is a Saturday so we expected it to get busy but it's crazy busy even though the forecast was for heavy rain and thunderstorms today which hasn't quite materialized just yet car parks got a bit crazy here um, people are cycling down the trails the wrong way because they don't know where they're going so it's all gone a bit um, yeah a bit frustrating and a bit crazy um, there's a lot of people that have obviously never been here before um, so um, my advice to you is if you want to come here for a nice quiet hike or um, not too busy on the trails I would come midweek do not attempt to come here at the weekends especially if you have a big vehicle we were lucky we got here at best part of pub state so we were very very early um, I would say this car park is almost full now there is an overflow car park um, and it's only quarter to 12 so yeah So my plan was to take on the Dolby Forest Red Route, which is a challenge in 35k 21 miles. You start with a relatively short climb and then the rest of the route is like a long cross country trail. Lots of small climbs and small descents with features to keep you entertained. half a dozen steeper, more technical descents that make this trail a true red.
Overall, I really enjoyed this ride. I'm glad it was an e-bike though. It's definitely worth visiting Dolby Forest if you're in the area. After a full and hectic day at Dolby Forest, we spent the following day exploring around the town of Pickering. Situated on the border of the North York Moors National Park, overlooking the Vale of Pickering to the south. It's a popular tourist destination for those enjoying independent shops and markets. Discover Pickering Castle, which was a northern base for a succession of medieval kings. There is also a 12th century Saxon church in the centre of town. The Beckheil Museum, home to 60,000 exhibits celebrating Pickering's rural heritage. Access to the North York Moors Railway, which stretches 18 miles through the heart of the North York Moors National Park. Plus an array of cafes, bars, pubs and eateries to suit all tastes and budgets. Okay, so I was going to just show you our little campsite that we found, which is about a 10 minute drive from Dolby Forest. Um, we can walk into the village of Pickering from here, it's about 10 minutes. Um, this little site is not a caravan and motorhome club site, it's not a caravan camping club site, we just found it um, on Google. And it's a lovely little site, they've got some hard standing pitches. So this is Rennie behind us and you can see there's a few hard standing pitches around the edge of the site and then a few tents in the middle. It's probably only about 25 pitches in total. Um, it's got a little bed and breakfast attached to it as well. Yeah, and it's got all the facilities, toilets, showers, etc which I'll show you in a minute so we've got the motorhome wastewater point we've got a tap there to fill up which is on the route in we've got bins and recycling and then we've got let me put my mask on some washing up some free Wi-Fi, men's loose, ladies loose are in here. We save the shower, more washing up. Oh, another shower. And that's it. You come in off from the main town roundabout down this quite narrow lane and if something was coming the other way you would have to reverse I think but we've been lucky coming twice and there hasn't been anybody there and then this is the main entrance into the site. So Sean's just taken the dogs out for a walk and just before he left he said oh I better take my coat with me in case it starts raining and I said oh don't be silly it probably won't rain for ages <laughs> um, Rex won't be happy either because he hates the rain here he comes <laughs> here they come look at my Irish little girl she loves it she's that <laughs> I can't wait to get back. <laughs> Just missed it. <laughs> oh, come on and in you go. Yay! 
<laughs> you made it, Momo. Good girl. Did you make it? <laughs> Yay! Rex don't like it, does he? Good boy. Like, no. no, I'm coming in. You don't like the rain. <laughs> And that's a wrap on our Northern England tour. We hope you have enjoyed this series and if you have, don't forget to leave us a like and a comment in the section below. If you haven't subscribed already to our channel, please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell for new videos being uploaded. Thanks for watching and we hope you will join us on our next adventure coming very soon.